A lot of people have bikes, hand cycles that I know, um, but they rarely are able to use them or it's just a real barrier to be able to get out. So if I can make that easier and simpler for them, I guess that's, that's a big outcome. Um, and trying to do design something specifically that's suitable for sort of quads has, has been what our goal was. The special features of the bike or the things that are a bit more unique to most of the hand cycles is we've done a folding crank system to allow transfers to be a lot simpler and easier. Uh, and we've also got electronic gearing, which we can basically adapt to whatever needs, sit puff, you know, voice activated, wrist activated buttons. It doesn't really matter. Once it's electronic, um, we can do whatever we need to to get it working for the person. Yeah, post injuries, I think it's like really good to get back into working out. Um, I went like a few years where I didn't really do much and I think mentally it didn't really help me at all. Um, as soon as I got out there and doing stuff, like definitely feel a bit more normal and back into life, yeah. Being able to do it in your own home and not having the stress of going out into public and being able to, you know, get that confidence and stuff before venturing out would be huge. Yeah, the simulator was like pretty well set up, like lots of adjustability, which made it comfortable. And you don't want a piece of equipment that's not fun to use or doesn't fit right because then you're less inclined to use it. Um, it'd be awesome for manufacturers to develop a bit more in the disability space. Um, there's so much room for improvement and with more people doing it, it would um, be more competition.